Hey everyone, it's a very sunny Wednesday and I'm actually heading out to meet a friend that I met on TikTok. We're gonna meet at the Opera House, get brunch. She has a reservation for us and then we're gonna go swimming because it's such a gorgeous day. It's gonna be so hot. I'm really excited for today. So I gotta go now, let's go. Like, what is exactly this location called? It's called... It's by the Opera House. Yeah, it's called Ushrabukta. It's like a new beach at central India city. We have never had that before, so we're going to go swimming. Yes, I'm so excited. It's so hot out, but like, it's so nice. It's and I haven't nice. been swimming in forever. We just had brunch at Kumi, is that how you say? Yeah, Kumi. Kumi. And it was really delicious. We went into the library to check out the view and yeah also wait i didn't even mention we met on tiktok mm. <laughs> um, so nice it's to it be here on the, this beautiful day like yes. it's never really sunny and nice so it's oh my gosh <laughs> so nice. the weather has been amazing here on this trip i'm so grateful but yeah we're gonna get swimming now Oh, that didn't work. common thing throughout my this trip and I hope to make this a trend because this is very nice. I much rather do this over a restaurant. But I had such a wonderful day with Matea. As you saw we went to brunch and then we went swimming. We strolled around Arkebirke. We got ice cream there. I walked her to the train, metro. I stopped in a few stores today too. I stopped in this one store. It's like an Oslo store. I'll put the name here. They carry a bunch of different Scandinavian brands. And I found this like tunic shirt dress by a Danish brand. So cute. I was in love instantly. It was half off. So I'm so happy about that. I can't wait to wear it. Like I loved it instantly. I'm just enjoying the park here. I just love people watching. And like you don't feel a rush here. I feel like in restaurants. Sometimes you feel rushed, even though they're not trying to rush you out. Just sometimes I just get that feeling. Ugh, but it was so nice to swim today. Loved that. And I learned a lot about Oslo and Norway from Matea. I learned that the sculptures in this park, the princess actually picks them out every year for her birthday and they add a new sculpture. 
it's been so warm here. I didn't expect this from Scandinavia. I got burnt today, I think. Hopefully not. I have this tan line for my ring. Crazy. I pack long sleeves, but I'm really enjoying Norway, Oslo. I'd like to see more, more of different parts of Norway eventually. So I feel like this trip is more of a like introduction to each city or each country. Hopefully someday I will come back and like do a more in-depth trip in each place. Like I know I'd like to do a specific Denmark trip. I would like to go to Gothenburg again. But I think I'm gonna head back to the hotel soon. I have like the morning and early afternoon tomorrow here. Then I should leave to the airport around three-ish. Ugh, I just don't feel like packing up and leaving again. I kind of, it's like I'm at the point where I want some stability. Like I want to like live in one place. My last destination is coming up. That would be the next video. But we still have tomorrow, so this video is not over yet. in Frogner Park, the sculpture park. And wow, this is a lot more than I thought it was. It's very beautiful. A lot of fountains and flowers and sculptures are very, very interesting. I think I'm gonna get some lunch. Also been eyeing a tote bag at Hay House. I think I'll walk back there, get that, have a picnic, and then head on to the airport. But I wanna go up there first before I head back down.